When your boiler isn't responding to your thermostat or receiver, it can be very tricky to work out why and quite frustrating to learn how to fix it. Until this video. In this video, we're gonna be teaching you why your boiler isn't responding to your thermostat, how to fix it, and how to avoid these issues in the future. If you do find this video helpful, please do leave a like and comment down below, and also check out iheat.co.uk to get a next day boiler installation if you need one. Without offending you or making you feel stupid, there are very, very basic checks you need to do before asking an engineer for help. Number one is your boiler on. I know it may seem very, very obvious, but in some cases your boiler may just be flicked off on the actual boiler itself or switched off at the fuse, or even the fuse may have tripped on your mains board. Believe it or not, this happens quite a lot. Engineers get called out. It costs the customer quite a lot of money to get them there, all because of a simple switch. Don't be like that. Check now and save yourself some money. Of course, if your boiler isn't on, there is nothing for your thermostat to respond to, so of course they aren't going to communicate or receive. Number two is batteries. Quite a common issue we also get is that people get thermostats. This is an EPH Combi 4 with the iHeat branding, and the batteries just aren't in the thermostat. Luckily for me, we have got some batteries, but they're dead. Of course it's not gonna work. Make sure you check your batteries, and make sure they are charged, make sure they're brand new. Even if you're watching this video now, stop watching it and change your batteries in your thermostat. It'll save you a lot of pain and headaches in the future. Number three can be the thermostat location inside your property. If your boiler is in your kitchen and your thermostat is 300 miles away, of course, they're never going to respond and communicate. So make sure they are brought closer to help that issue. If it is wall mounted like the EPH Combi 4 can be, you can still pop it off the wall and take it closer to the boiler to see if that's the issue. When you get an installation from iHeat, the engineer will check this all over, so avoid that issue by going with iHeat on your next boiler. Not only will range affect the location of your thermostat, it can also be where your thermostat is placed inside a room to affect the temperature. For example, I installed my Hive Mini above my PS5 and I soon realized the mistake I made when the thermostat thought it was 25 degrees in my house whilst I was freezing across every single floor. This is because my PS5 fans were simply blowing the warm air up into the thermostat, making it think it's a different temperature. I think people forget that the thermostat isn't some magical robot that can work out every single inch of the room. It's just a thermostat, a temperature reading device in a corner of a room, and it'll detect the temperature around that little spot, not the entire room. Don't put it near a window because it'll be colder. Don't put it above a radiator because it'll be warm. And don't put it miles away from a room you're never going to be in, as it won't matter what the temperature is inside that room if you're not sat in it. Now the basic checks have been completed, let's get on to the more complicated reasons. The main issue will be in the way your manual thermostat has been programmed. The majority of manual thermostats include an off mode, a manual mode, and an auto mode, and you may not actually understand what these things do. If you have an EPH Combi 4, like this one here, or a T3R, which are two models we sell at iHeat, you can check out these videos that I'll put up here throughout the video for tutorials on those exact thermostats. However, if you have a random manual thermostat, probably not be much help for you. But the basics are pretty much all the same. They have an off button, a manual button, and an auto button button. Off simply means off, so if your thermostat is off, of course they're not going to communicate. Manual mode means whatever you set the thermostat to manually is what the room will try and get to using your boiler. Auto means you've set a schedule, so let's say Monday at 7am, you've automatically set it to be 18 degrees inside your home, which means the boiler will either turn up to get the room to 18 degrees, or turn off if it's already there. If you're currently sat in manual mode and it is set to 14 degrees, but your room is 16 degrees, of course your boiler isn't going to be on, your radiators aren't going to be warm because the room temperature is already hit. A simple check to make sure your boiler is working perfectly fine is go on the manual thermostat, push that up button and make the temperature around 20 to 22 degrees as your house will never naturally be that temperature unless it's the peak of summer or you live in Italy. To cross out any chance of the thermostat being an issue, turn off all these settings, set it to manual and boost it as high as you can to see if it reacts to your boiler. Your auto programs are probably aren't set correctly and you've probably pressed off by accident without even realizing. So check your thermostat, check it set up correctly, and make sure you check those videos out if you have no clue at what you're doing. If this all sounds a bit too complicated, maybe it is time to get a smart thermostat which can do all the thinking for you. Stats like a Hive Mini are a great choice to go for. They are very small and compact. They hide away on any wall or any room, and it is all controlled from the simplicity of your phone. If you're an elderly person or someone who hates technology, a smart thermostat is quite an easy route to go for as you can set up someone else to control your heating, like a son, daughter, relative, friend, who knows what they're doing. Whereas if you're rubbish with tech and you've got one of these sat in your home, you'll probably never go near it. I can control my grandparents' house because they now have a Hive Mini as well. I go over, I sit with them, we plan it out together on paper, and then I turn it into the schedule on the app. 
so so simple for them and it works exactly how they like it you also get things like geolocation which means when they get away from the house or come towards the house they can turn it on as it notifies them to do so if you're in the market for a new boiler you are in luck as you can now add a hive mini or a google nest thermostat to your order to be installed the very next day if you want to see a full review or comparison video of the two thermostats check out the videos i link up up here as well as i've done so much content on thermostats I know them inside out. If none of the fixes above have worked for you, it will mean there is an issue to do with your thermostat or boiler. In this case, make sure to get a gas safe engineer out to your property to check the issue. If it is as simple as the thermostat, these are pretty cheap to replace. If it's your boiler, it could be a whole new ball game. So head to iheat.co.uk to get a fixed price quote for a next day boiler installation. We can be there the very next day to install your brand new boiler with one of our 400 gas safe registered engineers nationwide. Let me know if these tips have helped you fix your thermostat in the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next video. This has been iHeat.